Hi, welcome to the Go Chaos Gamer channel where we read two chapters of the King James Version Bible per day until we're through. This journey was started on January 1st, 2022 as a way to connect with my great Aunt Ruth who lives up in Canada. So thank you for being here at this channel. Please subscribe so that you can get your daily two chapters of the King James Version Bible. And without further ado, let's get into the word. 2 Chronicles chapter 13. Now in the 18th year of King Jeroboam began Abijah to reign over Judah. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Micaiah, the daughter of Uriel of Gibeah. And there was war between Abijah and Jeroboam. And Abijah set the battle in array with an army of valiant men of war, even 400,000 chosen men. Jeroboam also set the battle in array against him with 800,000 chosen men, being mighty men of valor. And Abijah stood up upon Mount Zemaram, which is Mount Ephraim, and said, Hear me, thou, Jeroboam, and all Israel. Ought ye not to know that the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom over Israel to David forever, even to him and to his sons by a covenant of salt? Yet Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, the servant of Solomon, the son of David, is risen up and hath rebelled against his Lord. And there are gathered unto him vain men, the children of Belial, and have strengthened themselves against Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, when Rehoboam was young and tender-hearted and could not withstand them. And now ye think to withstand the kingdom of the Lord in the hand of the sons of David, and ye be a great multitude, and there are with you golden calves which Jeroboam made you for gods. Have ye not cast out the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron, and the Levites, and have made you priests after the manner of the nations of other lands? So that whatsoever cometh to consecrate himself with a young bullock and several rams, the same may be a priest of them that are no gods. But as for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him, and the priests which minister unto the Lord are the sons of Aaron, and the Levites wait upon their business. And they burn unto the Lord every morning and every evening burnt sacrifices and sweet incense, the showbread also set they in order upon the pure table, and the candlestick of gold with the lamps thereof to burn every evening, for we keep the charge of the Lord our God, but ye have forsaken him. And behold, God himself is with us for our captain, and his priests with sounding trumpets to cry alarm against you. O children of Israel, fight ye not against the Lord God of your fathers, for ye shall not prosper. But Jeroboam caused an ambushment to come about behind them. So they were before Judah, and the ambushment was behind them. And when Judah looked back, behold, the battle was before and behind. And they cried unto the Lord, and the priests sounded with the trumpets. Then the men of Judah gave a shout, and as the men of Judah shouted, it came to pass that God smote Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. And the children of Israel fled before Judah, and God delivered them into their hand. And Abijah and his people slew them with a great slaughter, so there fell down slain of Israel five hundred thousand chosen men. Thus the children of Israel were brought under at that time, and the children of Judah prevailed, because they relied upon the Lord God of their fathers. And Abijah pursued after Jeroboam, and took cities from him. Bethel with the towns thereof, and Jeshana with the towns thereof, and Ephraim with the towns thereof. Neither did Jeroboam recover strength again in the days of Abijah, and the Lord struck him, and he died. But Abijah waxed mighty, and married fourteen wives, and begat twenty and two sons and sixteen daughters. And the rest of the acts of Abijah, and his ways, and his sayings are written in the story of the prophet Edo. Chapter 14. So Abijah slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David, and Asa his son reigned in his stead. In his days the land was quiet ten years. 
And Asa did that which was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God, for he took away the altars of the strange gods and the high places, and brake down the images and cut down the groves, and commanded Judah to seek the Lord God of their fathers and to do the law and the commandment. Also he took away out of all the cities of Judah the high places and the images, and the kingdom was quiet before him. And he built fenced cities in Judah, for the land had rest, and he had no war in those years, because the Lord had given him rest. Therefore he said unto Judah, Let us build these cities, and make about them walls and towers, gates and bars, while the land is yet before us. Because we have sought the Lord our God, we have sought him, and he hath given us rest on every side. So they built and prospered. And Asa had an army of men that bare targets and spears out of Judah three hundred thousand, and out of Benjamin that bared shields and drew bows, two hundred and fourscore thousand. All these were mighty men of valor. And there came out against them Zerah the Ethiopian with an host of thousand thousand, and three hundred chariots, and came unto Amarishah. Then Asa went out against him, and they set the battle in array in the valley of Zephathoth at Merishah. And Asa cried unto the Lord his God, and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee. And in thy name we go against this multitude. O Lord, thou art our God, let not man prevail against thee. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. And Asa and the people that were with him pursued them unto Gerar, and the Ethiopians were overthrown, that they could not recover themselves, for they were destroyed before the Lord and before his host, and they carried away very much spoil. And they smote all the cities round about Gerar, for the fear of the Lord came upon them, and they spoiled all the cities, for there was exceeding much spoil in them. They smote also the tents of cattle, and carried away sheep and camels in abundance, and returned to Jerusalem. And that brings us to the end of today's reading. Did anything special stand out to you? Is God working in your life? I would really love it if you left a comment and let me know how God is working or how the Word um, has affected you and your life today. Thank you for being here, and a special hello and goodbye to my Aunt Ruth, who's up in Canada, and to everyone else. Just thanks again for being here. You can find me, uh, other things that I do, art, projects, all that sort of stuff at gochaosgamer.com. Otherwise, be blessed. I'll see you in the next video.